All right, in today's video, I'm gonna share five useful features on the Samsung Galaxy phones you might not be aware of. So you're gonna learn something new today. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like if you find this video informative. The first feature I wanna talk about is media volume limit. On Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a feature called media volume limit, which is on the settings menu. Let me go to the settings here. I will tap on sound and vibration and here we have got volume. I'll tap on this. Now, a lot of people tend to miss this feature. Let me tell you why. This feature is hidden right here. All you need to do is tap on this ellipsis button here on the top right corner. You will see media volume limit. Now let me tap on this. It says protect your ears with a media volume limit for headphones and Bluetooth audio devices. Here we have got a slider. We can set the custom volume limit from 85 decibels to 100 decibels. Now if you want to protect your ears while listening to music, then you need to enable this feature so that you don't cross the limit and harm your ears. Now let me just connect the uh, Galaxy Buds here that I have. It's connected. Now here you can see, I've set the volume limit to 85 decibels. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and play a music file here. Let me open music, the YouTube music. I will just play this audio. Now what I'll do is I will just increase the volume here. You see, it says volume limit reached. To increase the volume, go to settings and turn off media volume limit or change your volume limit. So the moment it reaches a specific volume, it will not go beyond that it is stuck right here even when I increase the volume here. I can go to the settings and I will have to change the limit here. Let's say I changed it, change it to somewhere in the middle here. Now I will increase the volume. You see it is going up. Now it has reached the limit and it is showing me this pop-up. And if I want to go beyond that volume limit, I will have to again go to settings and enable this and increase the limit here. So that's a pretty cool feature that we have on Samsung Galaxy phones, which is going to protect your ears. So if you have a habit of listening to music on high volume levels, and if you want to restrict that, you can use the specific feature. Now, we all make a lot of calls during the day. It may be a professional call, maybe a conference call with your colleagues in the office, or you might have made a call to your client. And once you hang up the call, you might want to get a summary of what you have spoken. You may not want to go back to the call recordings and check the recordings and listen to the entire conversation. It may be lengthy, it may be five minutes, 10 minutes or hours together, and you may not want to do that. Instead, we have got a feature called call transcribe summary on the Galaxy phones, which is really fantastic. Let me go ahead and show you how exactly this works. Let me open the phone dialer here. I'll tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. Now you need to tap on record calls and enable auto record calls. Now this feature may be restricted in uh, some countries. It may be region locked. So be wary of that. Now, if this is available, you can go ahead and tap on auto translate calls and enable it and then tap on transcript assist. Now here we have got auto transcribe recorded calls. Automatically convert recorded calls into a text transcript. You can view transcripts on the recent screen in the phone application. Just enable this. Whenever you have a conversation, the call will be recorded and the transcript will be available. Now let me tell you how you can check the summary of that transcript. Now let's go to the voice recording here. Now this is where you'll find the call recordings. What I'll do is I'll pick up one of the conversations. I'll just pick this specific call. Now we've got this entire call transcript here. It's a lengthy call that we had. Now instead of going through everything that we spoke on this call, what I can do is I can tap on summary here. You can see the AI is working on it and it will give you a short summary of what we have spoken. As you can see, we have got project phase three presentation, real estate venture, digital agency and website development, restaurant advertisement. So all this we discovered, it is giving me a summary in pointers. Uh, under project phase three presentation, a presentation of phase three of a project was given to Newton. Uh, the presentation was questioned in a subsequent meeting. The presenter clarified the purpose of the phase three presentation. Then you can see we have discussed about real estate venture, a new real estate project, Oxyrich is being considered. Collaboration with Shashi on a nearby project, Shubha Villas is possible. The project location is in Chandapura. So all this is discussed and we just have a short summary of everything. Uh, I don't really have to go through this entire transcript on the call. This is a fantastic feature. I think you guys should go ahead and check it out. Now, on Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a hidden feature called adaptive power saving. I'm not talking about adaptive battery. I'm talking about adaptive power saving. Don't get confused. Let's go to settings here. Let me show you where exactly this is. I will tap on a battery. 
and I'll tap on power saving. Now here under power saving, again, this feature is hidden. It is not available in this list. It's right there on this ellipsis button on this three dot button. Just tap on that. You will see adaptive power saving. Just tap on this. It says turn power saving on and off automatically based on your usage patterns. So when you enable it, the phone will automatically turn on this power saving toggle or this power saving mode based on your usage. So that is going to save a lot of power on the Galaxy phones. You don't really have to manually turn on the power saving mode or turn off the power saving mode whenever you need it. The phone will recognize it automatically. It will turn on the power saving mode and turn it off based on your usage, which is going to save a good amount of battery. And this is a cool feature which you should go ahead and enable on your Galaxy phones. All right, moving on to the next feature, on Samsung Galaxy phones One UI 7, we have got a feature called Suggested Replies. And this currently works on Samsung Messages application. And I hope this works on WhatsApp and other uh, messaging applications as well. First, let me show you where exactly this is. Let's go to the settings. Uh, I will show you how exactly this works as well. Uh, let's go to the advanced features here. Here I'll tap on Labs. This is where you will find suggested replies. Now this feature may not be available on all the Galaxy devices. Currently it is available on One UI 7 on the Galaxy S25 series. If you do not have it or if you have it, do let me know in the comment section and mention your uh, phone model as well. Now let me tap on suggested replies. It says get AI powered suggested replies to chat, text messages you receive provided by Samsung keyboard. Now this feature is available on Samsung keyboard but works only on Samsung messaging application. I tried this on WhatsApp, it is still not working. Let me show you how it works. Let's go, go ahead and open Samsung messaging application. Now here, I will send a message. As you can see, it is already showing me creating replies. Now uh, I've got a message saying, hey, now we have got these uh, suggested replies here. I'll select WhatsApp and I'll just send it. Now I'll reply to this from another number. I just received good, can we meet? It says sure, where and when. Uh, even though there was a spelling mistake here, you can see instead of good, I have typed God, it is still recognized it and it has suggested me sure, where and when. I'll tap on send. I will just say Church Street. Let's say what it says. It's creating replies and it is also suggesting me to open the map here for this specific location, which is just incredible. That's a contextual uh, option that we have. Depending on the context or depending on the uh, word here, it will show us these menus. And now here it has also created the suggested replies. All right, I will be there. Got it, see you there. I'll just send this. And I have replied to that saying 5 p.m. Now you can see it's creating the uh, reply. <laughs> For some reason, it is showing me in Korean. Uh, this is strange. I didn't expect this. Let me type this. Yeah, it is showing me in Korean for some reason. Uh, so sometimes, you know, these things happen uh, with AI related features. We just have to ignore it. Now again, here we have got the timing. I can just tap on this to add it to the calendar as well. That's also pretty cool. So we do have suggested replies along with these uh, features like, you know, uh, recognizing the location and opening it on maps or recognizing the time and adding it to calendars. All this is available on Samsung messages and suggested replies is the one which is now available on One UI 7 and uh, I hope this works on WhatsApp as well. Now, the next feature that I'm going to talk about on the Samsung Galaxy phones is going to be very special for those of you guys who play a lot of games on your devices. Now, let me go ahead and open the settings over here and I'll tap on advanced features. Now here I will scroll down and open Game Booster settings and here you will see there is one feature which seems to be disabled that is pause USB power delivery charging when gaming. It says to prevent overheating bypass the battery when a USB power delivery charger which is programmable power supply compatible 25 watt or higher is connected and the battery is over 20%. Now what happens here is this is going to prevent overheating. That is because when you enable this feature and connect the power delivery charger, the power source will change. The phone will not use the phone's battery for the gaming. What it will do is it will suck the battery from the power source that you have connected, the PD charger that you have connected, thereby reducing the overheating of the phone and retains all the power that your phone's battery has. Let me show you, I will just connect the USB power delivery charger here. This is the Samsung charging cable that I have. I have connected it to a power bank, which has got more than 25 watt output. I'll just connect this. You see, the moment I connect this, 
this gets enabled here. I will be able to enable this and we can go ahead and start playing the games. Now the power source for the phone when you play game will be directly from the brick that you have connected. And this is going to prevent the overheating as well. So this is a pretty cool feature, a hidden feature, which I think you guys should know and you guys should start using if you are a gamer. That's about it. These are five very interesting features I thought I'll share with you guys. There are many other features I keep sharing with you guys every now and then on the channel. So if you want to learn more about your phone, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. And if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application, Wallverse, go ahead and download it. We are increasing the lifetime subscription probably in a few days. I will keep you notified about it. And we'll also introduce a more affordable monthly subscription plan. And if you want to buy the lifetime subscription at the current price, this is the right time for you to go ahead and buy it. Go ahead and check it out. We do keep adding more and more wallpapers almost every day so that you don't get bored of the application. So go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.